This 1962 D. Jefferson nickel with full steps was sold for $11,250 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction, graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. There are many uncirculated 1962 D. nickels at given grade, but those with sharp Monticello motifs, especially stairs on the porch, are extremely scarce. The FS designation indicates that the coin has full Distinct steps on Monticello's front porch on the reverse side. This is a desirable attribute for collectors because it shows the coin's design elements are well defined and not worn down. This Jefferson nickel is lightly scratched, but overall eye appeal is nice. If you have such elusive US coins you want to get rid of, make sure to watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. Moving on with this 1970s proof Lincoln scent, a small date variety in PR69 deep cameo condition. Just one point prevents this superb gem from highest grade available by Sheldon Scale. The coin features a sharp stripe, polished fields, and frosted design elements. Regarding the small date varieties, the 1970s Lincoln scent has two different date varieties: a large date and a small date. The small date variety has a slightly narrower and more pointed 7 compared to the large date variety. This proof gem ended up selling for $12,100 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1976S Silver Bicentennial Quarter in MS69 condition, top grade registry coin. The Silver 1976S Bicentennial Quarter is an issue not typically seen in an auction setting. Unless, of course, it is in MS69 condition. PCGS, Coin Grading Service, reported just six specimens in that grade, with none finer. This top grade registry coin is frosty and brilliant, showing a sharp strike and virtually flawless surfaces. It was bargained for $6,600 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1970, no S. Roosevelt time in PR69 cameo condition. Experts seem to think that only about 2,200 dimes were struck without S mint mark. This was due to the fact that one die was prepared at Philadelphia and sent to San Francisco to be used. Apparently the quantity mentioned above was released before the mistake was found and corrected, giving collectors a great error to acquire. Amazing cameo surfaces of this gem are mainly untoned and well impressed. It fetched a sum of $1980 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 2008D Sacagawea dollar in MS68 condition, sharply struck, fully lustrous and bearing no distracting marks on either face. As one might expect of the lofty MS68 grade afforded, this coin, whose circulating brazen quickly become quite unappealing from even a short stint in general commerce. The 2008 Sacagawea struck at both Philadelphia and Denver are key dates to the short-lived series, with a mintage figure of just 1,820,000. This elusive dollar coin was sold for $2,115 at Stax Powers auction. And here is 1963 Lincoln sent with double die reverse graded in PR67 read by PCGS. According to Rob Paulson live website, die used to mean the reverse of the coin was flowed and that it shifted between the strikes by the working hub. This movement caused some doubling on the words America and FG's initials. This memorial reverse sent fetched the sum of $1,260 on May 16, 2023 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching this video, like, subscribe and comment. See you in the next episode.